All right, so let's get to some of the tips and tricks and uh, take a look at some of the issues that may uh, come up when you're using X-Ray. Uh, so let's just start with the compatibility. For Turtle, uh, you can use all my uh, default lights. Uh, for Redshift, you can use all Redshift lights except the sunlight. For V-Ray, you can use all V-Ray lights. And for Arnold, you can use all Arnold lights. If you're planning on switching between these renders while working, I recommend that you use uh, Maya's default light as they work with all of them. And for shaders, uh, in current version, you should always use uh, the blink shader. And uh, in the next version, you can also use Arnold standard shader. And I have plans to add support for uh, Redshift and VRA materials as well. Okay, so let's get to uh, doing some baking and see how it works. All right, so now this is probably uh, one of the most common issues that I uh, hear uh, people uh, emailing me about it, is that they bake the light, uh, but they don't see anything in the viewport. And that is because uh, when you're using X-Ray, you should always enable the texture view and the light view. To see the result. Uh, now the next thing uh, is probably these uh, weird effects on the mesh. Uh, this is because of the light map UV. If you check your objects UV uh, here you can find the light map UV and you can see that it is uh, not a very good shape. Uh, it is best to try to uh, lower the edge seams as much as possible. So uh, for primitive shapes, the default UV is usually good. So I'm going to just press the copy current to use the this default uh, UV set as the light map as well, like this. And now if I do a rebake, it is going to look much better. Now the next is the noisy shadow. Uh, for that, uh, based on your render engine, uh, you should uh, increase the samples. So for uh, Turtle, it is going to be shadow rays. So we can set to 64. If you're using Arnold, you should uh, increase the sample uh, from the Arnold tab. And for Redshift, it is going to be the samples here. Uh, also for each uh, render engine, this number is different. So for example, uh, with Turtle, uh, 64 is going to give me a very good result. Uh, for Arnold, uh, 64 is going to be a very big number. So you may, let's give it a try actually. Well, uh, the first thing that we can see is that the Arnold result is completely black. And that is because of the exposure uh, and the light intensity in Arnold. So I can either increase the intensity to uh, maybe a thousand or I can just leave it at one and increase the exposure. Okay, too much maybe. Yeah. So now for Arnold, uh, we can increase the sample to maybe three. Or uh, five, and we can get a good soft shadow. For redshift, uh, this number can be uh, much more, maybe even a uh, one thousand or five hundred twelve, and it is going to give us a soft, clean shadow. Now one. Uh, very important uh, problem that you may face is that, for example, you have uh, a scene like this, and then you do a rebake. For example, uh, I can just uh, enable light mixer and bake the scene. And now, if I undo, it is going to 
become black and worse than that if I try to bake again it is going to stay black and that is because you can't undo baking so that is a file that is saved uh, to your drive and when you try to uh, undo it it, it can't uh, bring back the old file but what it does is uh, if we take a look at our light map you can go to your material color and this first one is your light map now if we take a look we can see there is a lot of black spots here and that is uh, because the layer texture tries to bring back the old light maps that uh, no longer exist so it will be just creating this black empty spots uh, so if something like this happens you should come here and remove these uh, black uh, layers and now if I bake again I can get my light map uh, the way it should be so try to avoid uh, undoing after uh, doing a bake uh, as it can just undo the bake simulation now another thing uh, that is only uh, happening with redshift is that if you use uh, a smooth mesh preview if you press the three key on a mesh and try to bake it it is going to just uh, become black this is a limitation with redshift so if you're uh, using redshift and you want to have a, uh, a smooth mesh uh, make sure to first uh, disable it bake the light and then press the three button to see the smooth result now let's get to some of the tips for uh, baking with Arnold uh, if you're using Arnold uh, you may see something like this let's actually rotate it to see the UV seam these dark areas around the UV seam uh, to avoid that you can enable the merge GI for Arnold if this option is enabled uh, now we do a bake and we can see a clean result but as you can see after enabling this uh, checkbox we have to recalculate the uh, baked light for all of the objects uh, it is the same for light mixer as well if you want to enable these two make sure to do it in the beginning of your project because uh, for example if I uh, disable it you can see that uh, it removed the lights uh, from all the objects and this is because when you change this option uh, it will try to remove all the uh, unused uh, light maps uh, actually every time you try you assign a light map it will uh, remove the unused light maps so because uh, you may have removed an object and you don't no longer have it uh, but the light map is taking disk space uh, so I try to uh, add this option to remove the unnecessary light maps and when you change the light mixer or merge GI uh, the way the textures are saved are different so it will remove all the uh, other ones and uh, another tip for Arnold is when you're using GPU so I'm using a very old uh, version I don't have GPU here let's try here okay so when you're using uh, Arnold GPU uh, the first thing you should know is that the sample count is uh, is not the same as the CPU so for example if we had uh, three camera uh, sample on uh, CPU if we bake the lights Oh, I should increase it. You can see that we get a very clean shadow, but if I switch to GPU, it is going to be noisy. When you're using GPU, you may need to increase the camera sample a little bit more to get the same result as uh, CPU. This may uh, be more 
noticeable when you are baking subsurfaces scattering as well. So keep that in mind. And another very important uh, thing is when you're using uh, multiple GPUs, uh, always uh, select only one. Uh, this is an issue that I noticed recently in Arnold. Uh, in another system that I have uh, multiple GPUs, if I have them both enabled, uh, the startup time is going to take a very long time. So uh, it is usually much faster if you just select uh, one GPU and don't use both of them.